I am here with Palmer Lucky, the creator of Oculus Rift and founder of Oculus VR. So, first question, this has all come on pretty quick. What is CES like now, like over the years, compared to where you were two years ago? It's kind of nice because the people that before you couldn't talk to are now actually like right. trying to get in touch with you. So it's really fun to be able to connect with companies and I think a lot of people are taking VR seriously. So it's not just this crazy wacky thing. Now that it's actually a real, it's a real movement. It's not just Oculus, but so many companies work on AR and VR. Mm -hmm. It's really fun to come and then all of a sudden there's all this AR and VR stuff at CES. There's a lot of hype and a lot of people love saying that this is the future of gaming. Do you see it that way or is this just one possible and one extension of gaming in the future? I definitely think it's an extension. I don't think it's the way that we'll be right. gaming. I mean, I think mobile gaming will stay around, handheld systems will stay around for a long time. Mm -hmm. People still even play board games because there's a certain type of experience that is best, you know, having this physical board game there. I think it's going to be an addition to the gaming ecosystem rather than, you know, squeezing everything out. And finally, do you see this? Do you see your particular VR going into other fields beyond gaming? It already is. I mean, I was working in VR on you know the more academic side before mm -hmm. doing Oculus. But that whole time, it's continued to be used in the professional market. The military's kept using it. Um, a lot of medical, there's a lot of yeah, medical applications, emergency and first, like, first responders, like yeah. police and firemen um, have been using it for training. And large companies have been using it for data visualization, uh, computer modeling and design. So it's been in use. It's just been crazy expensive systems that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Gaming is really the new market where you say, oh, will it move to other applications? In a way, this is moving from those applications, everything else, into gaming. And gaming is one of the hardest markets to get into because you have to be really good to convince your average consumer to use this thing. You can't have it be $100,000. You can't have it be heavy and bulky and hard to use. Right. It really has to be a well-integrated experience. So. Cool. It's really moving from everything else into gaming. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I would wish you luck, but I don't think you need it. I need the luck. Come on. <laughs> well, then I wish it. All right.